evening. In this video, we are going to be diving into a paper adventure. And when I look at this piece of art, I just am channeling all paper inspiration. And I'm not sure why. I should probably mention that in this video, we are going to be going over the Show Some Character project where I am taking your guys' drawings and turning them into body paint. Living, breathing, semi-tattoo style. Let me show you the reference. By Shaw Marie. Also, please let me know if I said your name wrong. I love this. And I think the reason that I reference a tattoo style or like a paper type style, I probably like blacks. What are you talking about? You keep saying paper style. Think like Paper Mario, but take like the texture out. I think the reason that I see that is because there's no shading. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's no shading. <laughs> All I do is shade. Is this going to be our biggest challenge yet? It's all flat. It's all flat, perfectly put together colors, and I just love the way it looks, and I love the style of it. I hope I can do it. As always, all the products that you say will sit somewhere on the video. Also, if you enjoy, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to rate in the comments below on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being Lex included shading. To 10 being, Lex did not include any shading at all. Made you look coming at you with a cute paper intro that kind of hurt your eyeballs a little bit. You're going to need a lot of colors of paper, but you're also going to need white. And we're going to start off by measuring my head. This time we're using the tool that we're supposed to be using, not just trying to guess with Ziploc bags of what size my head actually is. I figured we're going to try to do it right this time. Everything's going to be great. Measuring my head in past videos has not gone the smoothest for me. small sandwich size Ziploc bag. So I outlined the half of my face, trying to really just make sure the size of my head, top to bottom, to try to figure out where the hair is going to go. I then also realized that when I do film videos, I have a tendency to face the right-hand side when I'm taking photos, so I'm actually going to do it backwards. I then sketched in roughly where I thought the details were going to go. This took me several tries. I knew this was gonna be tricky just because I can't draw it right on my head. And I know it's hard to see the outline, but to give perspective, my face is going to go right here. I then outlined everything in a Sharpie so you could see and I could see. Now, originally when I had this plan, I knew I was going to have to dissect this drawing several times, so I made little dashes of where I'm possibly going to have to cut it to fit on my face, behind my head, and possibly behind or on my neck. And I labeled the flower just for the sake of consistency. Once you have your head anatomy, we're then going to cut it all out. I then placed this outline, which is actually just going to be our template, on the black sheet of paper, trying to fit everything on one sheet of paper the best that I could. Outlined that using chalk and tried to cut it as close as I possibly could. Now, when I first had this idea, the reason that I had so many different colors of paper was because I planned, like a crazy person, to outline the outline of the head several times and try to cut out all of the detail pieces. This was not a good idea. I then decided not only was the easier, but the smarter route was to continue to cut out my template and actually just take the blue piece, the mint piece, it's, I don't know what color to call it, we'll call it mint. The mint piece and color the black sections in black instead of trying to cut the mint paper to fit on the black sheet. And just to make sure I had the flower roughly fit, because I think that's pretty much what I'm basing everything around, I cut it out of the white template, traced it, and filled that in using a black sharpie. I also then realized that the flower was gonna turn out streaky, so I cut it out of the black paper and I glued the black paper onto the mint paper. Let me know if I'm losing you because I'm kind of losing myself a little bit as I'm doing the voiceover. Stuck that on using a glue stick. Going back to the Sharpies, I then tried to figure out the very best and most accurate that I possibly could to draw in all the swirls on the hair and not get confused. I also filled in the black outlines on the white pieces as well as cut out little tiny pink pieces of paper and glued those to the original mint piece of paper to create the pink detailing. Going back to our original white template we made, I took that flower, drew a skull on it so I would have approximately the right size, cut that out and we're now going to trace that onto a mint piece of paper and cut that out. I then took the outline of that cutout and put that on a yellow piece of paper and traced that onto that. That way I could draw the face and figure out the size of the face that was going to be cut out of the yellow paper and put onto the mint paper. Also a little bit of pink detailing. 
Once everything was cut out and glued on, I used a Sharpie to add in all of the black detailing on our skull. Adorable, glued it on. Now as far as a look like this goes, it has to be viewed directly from the side. So you have to figure out exactly how you're going to be facing when you're going to be taking photos or showing it in a video. I start off by trying to outline everything using an eyebrow marker. I soon realized that I wasn't sure where the hair was actually going to lay on my face, so I had to hold that up while drawing in the holes for the zombie mouth. And here I am looking at it, thinking something looks a little weird, but I couldn't figure out what it was at the time. Using white body paints, I then filled in my entire face and my neck as well as part of my chest. Using gray eyeshadow, I decided to outline where the eyeball is going to go first since I can only keep one eye open and kind of only see half of my face while painting this. Fill that in using yellow body paint and set it using yellow eyeshadow. And then suddenly it hits me. It turns out my teeth are, are not located in my cheekbone. And I thought to myself, maybe if I move my mouth like this, maybe my teeth will move. It didn't work. So I just moved the entire hole down by painting in the yellow section of where the teeth are gonna go. They're still gonna be a little off, but that's all right. I then drew in my teeth, questioned my anatomy, but moved on anyways. Using black liquid liner, I also outlined around my eye and filled in my eyebrow. I was a little nervous filling in the lips because they are so much rounder than my lips, so I first used gray eyeshadow to give myself an outline and then filled them in using black body paint. Using magenta body paint, I then filled in the necklace type situation going on on her neck, just doing it kind of roughly because everything's gonna have an outline anyways, and it's not gonna look just like it until we actually have it outlined. I also filled in a lower part of what I believe is a lower piece of her hair using the pink body paint as well. Using yellow, I outlined around the top of the dress and going down the side of my arm. Everything right now is just color blocking and everything else will be outlining. So if it looks rough, that's because it is rough. Going back to magenta body paints, I filled in all of the magenta areas and mixing up some mint green paint, I added in all of where the mint will be going. The rest of the body paint is really just filling in all of the outlines, making sure I'm defining the leaves around the roses, the detailing, and doing my very best to fill in clean lines. To keep it consistent with the drawing, I tried to give myself a black outline by filling in half of my face with a black stripe and outlining my entire body with black body paint. And finally, using some prosthetic adhesive, I stuck all of the hair pieces onto my face and my neck. Shamari, let me tell you, trying to figure out all of the paper pieces was a challenge. But I am so happy with how this turned out as a body paint. I really, really hope that you feel that I got my body paint look as close as possible to your drawing. I absolutely love the way this one turned out and I absolutely love the color choice that you chose in your original drawing. It goes just so beautifully together. Also want to give a shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for going to these artists' Instagrams, supporting them, watching the videos, supporting the videos. Make sure you guys check out the other videos, catch up while you can, because I have been in a posting frenzy lately. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're doing our very best to reach three million in the Made You Look family.